Good morning dear student in previous lecture we already discuss the blended cements uh, what are the blended materials that is uh, inorganic materials which is incorporated in portland cement and we all know the main constituents of portland cements so all these points we already discuss in previous lecture in today's lecture uh, we are very much interested in the second important point of our syllabus uh, second important topic of our chapter that is your non portland cement so what is the difference between portland cement and non portland cements or blended cements and non portland cements the cement does not having a property of portland cements they simply considered as a non portland cement in which uh, there is a three uh, cements they consider as a non portland cement one is high alumina cement second one is your phosphate cement and third one is your calcium sulfo aluminate cement so these three cements we discuss in your non portland cements okay so let us discuss one by one the first one that is your high alumina cement so in this uh, non portland cement we discuss the characteristics of this high alumina cements so uh, you should find out uh, their examples okay which material it is act as a or uh, what are the examples of this high alumina cements calcium sulfo aluminate cement phosphate cements so in this lecture we considering only the characteristics so what are the important properties of this high alumina cements what are uh, what is the difference between this high uh, non portland cements and the portland cements so if you consider the one by one we considering the characteristics of this high alumina cements uh the first one that is it is it is different in composition different in composition different in composition from portland cement portland cement it is different in composition from portland cement so we already discussed uh the composition of this portland cement that is the important constituents of the portland cements are tricalcium silicate c3s dicalcium silicate c2s tricalcium aluminate that is c3a and tetracalcium aluminate okay that is c3af so we already discuss uh this important components of portland cements and their abbreviations so if you consider uh this high alumina cement it is your non portland cement so it is different in composition from portland cements so uh, no doubt some components are same but the composition is slightly uh, it is very much different than that of portland cements okay so this is the first important characteristics that is it is different in composition from portland cements so uh, we already discussed that Uh, this non portland cement it having a different property uh, as compared to the portland cement or the cement having does not shows the properties of portland cement they are considered as a non portland cement second uh, if you consider the second important characteristics uh, that is the raw material raw material used for manufacture raw material used for a manufacture consist of consist of limestone limestone and bauxite and bauxite which is a special which is a special clay which is a special clay with high alumina content with high alumina content so this is the second important characteristics regarding to this high alumina cement uh it is different in composition from portland cement if you consider the raw material used for manufacturing of this high alumina cement 
is uh, the limestone is one of the important constituent and the second one is your bauxite and we know that the bauxite is the important ore of aluminium and therefore uh, this cement by the com uh, combination of limestone and bauxite they are considered as a high alumina cement because bauxite is a ore of aluminium and it contains maximum amount of aluminium again the third important characteristics is that uh, its uh, manufacturing is very expensive okay expensive manufacturing is there no doubt it is very useful but it manufacturing is very expensive again uh, the next characteristics is that if you consider the next characteristic is that in the cement that is in high alumina cement okay the next characteristic is that in this cement uh, the C3A that is tricalcium aluminate content tricalcium aluminate content is very low so we know that uh, this is the important constituent of Portland cement so in this cement the C3A uh, content is very low okay c3 content is very low due to which due to which it is it is resistant due to which it is resistant to sulfur attack it is resistant to sulfur attack and uh, it is resistance to sulfur attack and other chemical attack. So this is also the important point. So we know that uh, in Portland cements, these uh, constituents that is dicalcium, tricalcium, silicate, aluminate have important role. And in this high alumina cement, uh, the C3A content is very low, and due to this, uh, which is resistant to the uh, you know to resistance to the sulfur attack and other chemical attack so it its resistivity to this uh, uh, acid and bases or different atmospheric condition is very uh, low we can consider it is very low so uh, the chemicals can easily attack okay the acid alkali uh, can easily attack on this high alumina cement okay so whatever the material which is whatever the construction made by high alumina cement it can be easily attacked by this acid and alkali because the c3 content is very low the next important characteristics of this high alumina cement is that uh, if you consider uh, if you consider it is it is characterized it is characterized by its by its dark color it is characterized by its dark color high early strength no doubt high early strength so it gives high early strength and high heat of hydration and high heat of hydration okay so this high alumina cement it is characterized by its dark color so its color is dark high early strength it will gives high early strength and a high heat of hydration again uh, if you consider uh, its important characteristics is that the next important characteristic is that uh, it sets quickly it sets quickly it sets quickly and attain and gain and higher and gain higher and higher strength and gain higher strength in short period in short period of time so it set quickly 
so the first character is uh, one and same so it is character uh, char uh, characterized by its dark color high early strength and high heat of hydration so it sets quickly and gain higher strength in short period okay again uh, if you consider the another characteristics of this high alumina cement is that it is a resistance to freezing it is a resistance to freezing it is resistance to freezing so it is also the important characteristics of this high alumina cement that is it resists to freeze okay it is resistance to freezing again uh, if you consider its initial setting time initial setting time its initial setting time uh, of 3.5 hours its initial setting time is of 3.5 hours and the final setting and final setting and final setting about and final setting about 5 hours final setting about 5 hours okay again uh, uh, the rapid hardening so we know that it sets quickly it will give high early strength so this uh, rapid hardening arises so how this high alumina cements gives a rapid hardening uh, this is because the rapid hardening so if you consider the important characteristics that a rapid hardening a rapid hardening arise a rapid hardening arise uh, from the presence of from the presence of from the presence of calcium aluminate calcium aluminate mainly calcium aluminate mainly okay and this is uh, mainly the mono calcium aluminate mono calcium aluminate so this is the important constituent which uh, which is gives the rapid hardening of this high alumina cement that is mono calcium aluminate okay mono calcium aluminate that is l 2 o 3 co mono calcium aluminate so it is the important constituent which gives a rapid hardening uh, to this high alumina cement okay so these are the some important characteristics of this high alumina cement in the next lecture we discussing the second non portland cement uh, that is your phosphate cement so you should find out uh, the non portland cements and more properties of this high alumina cement uh, phosphate cement and calcium sulfur aluminate cement so uh, i will give only the characteristics you should find out their uh, again different properties okay characteristics their uh, uh, formation how they are formed then their uses okay so you should find out their uses and the examples commercial examples of these high alumina cements okay so in the next lecture we discuss about the phosphate cement that is your non portland second non portland cement thank you